find that dragon fruit. Alright, use all fireworks. Yeah. There you go. That's another really unique firework you've got there. Are you looking for someone by any chance? Ooh, she's you. I have, I think I've got something that you and your friends will want. I think I I think I might know the people you're looking for. Why don't you go speak with Zoser near the watchtower? I see him just across the road. The watchtower, you mean the one of the guards is a uh, quiet. You want to shout it to the whole world? Yes. Zosar is the person you're looking for. Go speak with him if you have something to say. And where is the watchtower? Oh. He was watching us the whole time. It's not a watchtower, what? I saw the signal fly from here. So where's your business with the shadow hogs? I thought you should know one of your friends was found dead outside of my village. I'm listening. Some of the names of the twelve adventurers the library expedition were well known. Everyone had heard of a genie who had been transformed into a Kyrios, the god of destruction. However, the memories that were stored for the surface in the run belonged to an assassin named Melisar. Sarah's eyes, you saw the dark young man hand her the uniform. Then offer a boyish grin and say, Welcome to the Shadow Hawks. She glared at him, but forced a smile. It was Jean. What is with this narration? The voice actor sounds so disinterested. We've been searching for a rogue agent in these parts for long, for some time. Go speak with Haman on the cliffs of, above Serpent's Pass, and he'll pay you handsomely for this information. Thank you. I promise to speak to someone in parts of settlement first. I'll go see Haman as soon as I can. You said your name was Sinister Taka, right? From Hatora? I'll tell Haman to be expecting you. Don't keep him waiting too long. Okay, so... I'll turn this in, and then, um... Mount helps you move I don't know why it's telling me they that. There is no mount quest. Haman is a high ranking member of the Shadowhawks. It's because of him that my son is on the run. I implore you to use caution when dealing with these criminals. Apparently, the heritage of the Shadowhawks went back further than most of my realized. You studied a map marked with Haman's meeting place and saw a ghostly image of another map. Another memory as your head ate. Sarah's eyes. You saw an elegant queen with cooled eyes point in the map. He's here, in Delphinad, the queen snarled. If I can't take my pound of flesh from the mother, I'll take it from the son, and his son said. Make your peace, Jean Everlight. The hereafter is waiting. I'm so confused. If you're going to meet Haman, you should leave the sealed box with storehouse keeper Katra at the Sanctus Oasis. She'll keep it safe for you until you return. Ensure that Haman doesn't simply kill you and take it himself. So she's all the way over there. Um, my thing expired. So I'll kill these, turn in that quest, and then I'll be good to end it. I didn't even count. Uh, wow. That did not count. That sucks. Wow, oh, that is terrifying. What if you saw some big ass mantis running towards you like that? You'd like, I'd, I'd cry. I'd straight up cry. Like, that is so terrifying. Uh, that is, uh, 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 yeah. Like that, that, no, no, uh, uh.
He's like, I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. With my weird looking body. It's possible to turn in a quest even without finishing all of its objectives. Okay, so, oh yeah, that's, that's another thing. There's an early bird system, however, you can kill more after the quest and get a bigger reward. So, in theory, I could kill these dudes for a few hours and get a huge reward. Although, I don't know when it stops scaling. I remember doing that before. Ooh, a nice big chunk of damage. Alright, take out this spotted ostrich. It was supposed to be five of each, wasn't it? Like five stomachs, which means five ostriches, and then uh, like five of the mantises, or manti. Is it for mantises, manti? It's a good question. I don't feel like I killed five of each though the thing. I feel like unless I get like an upgraded bow, really all that will be doing is doing slight damage and luring them out. Yeah, bonus experience by exceeding a quest yeah see. Yeah, I don't feel like doing more damage will happen at any point. Unless I can upgrade my bow, but I haven't actually looked at, you know, any new, um... I haven't looked at any new, whatever it's called, weapons. So I have no idea if the bow is actually equipable or not. But it definitely help. Oh, this also hurts a little. So, okay, so yeah, that shows you my progress, say 300% is a good cutoff point. That's probably good. That's 180% I believe. So, I needed 5, so yeah, 15 will be good. I'll give me a nice bonus. Just hold down 3. Uh, what is... That's not Q. That's long as L. So, you see the Jackson will receive an additional reward. Okay, so... Reward for you for both. Okay. Okay, so... Let me see if it still adds up or if it stops counting is the question. Does it still count? Oh, yeah, do I have like any vocation badges? Use this currency at Blue Salt Representative Merchants, eats vocation badges, earn vocation badges through crafting, farming, gathering, lodging, husbandry, mining, or fishing. Do I have any. Doesn't look like it. Sar bag, inventory. Day one supply chest. Might as well open that. Right click an item in your bag to automatically equip it on your character. So I have seven. So I'll get up to ten. That means three more ostriches. That'll be good. Oh that is. Okay. Okay, so two more. Then I'll kill two more mantises. And 
that staggers them, which is also good. Uh, I'll have to see, like, is there, like, a way to rank up? Oh, there was. Alright, so one more ostrich, ostrich, and then after this, one more mantis. I wonder if, like, in Fire World International, they have status affected, uh, man, uh, things. So, Sacrificial Assault gives the most amount of experience. It makes them take more damage, but they also deal more damage. Then there's, like, Stronger Attack, which gives more experience, but they also do, you know, shit ton more damage. Um. Oh, yeah, they did that. Uh, and then there's, like, the weakened status, which makes them like three shot basically, but they do not give any experience. Like they give experience, but it's like really a small amount. I wonder if they do that here. Like if you can fight like, like you know, stronger like mini boss level regular creatures for more experience, because I definitely do that. Anyway, now I'm ready to turn in. Like, I have stuff I could apparently equip, but I don't know what would be worth equipping. Ooh! XP boost. That would definitely be useful. Uh, I wish I'd kind of known about this earlier. Let me go turn this in, and then I'll probably end it. Okay, so talk to him. And, um, yeah. There you are, good. Our partnership's looking to be a huge success. Look, these stomachs will be used to make a screeching blue. It'll make us rich if we can sell it. Now who'd sell to? I know, Bassana said he was heading out to Wide Sleeves a few hours ago. If you go quickly, you can probably catch up to him around Sancti Oasis. I'm sure he can sell the loot in Wide Sleeves and spot the rest off for bards. Of course, selling it to it and Noctura will bring in the big bucks. That's the best trading port for all kinds of goods. You'll find out just about everything there. Unfortunately, the Shadowhawks know that too, and I have a habit of robbing merchants on the road to Octosura. This time I'd rather play it safe. So do we have that option? Okay, so Emma's map. He's over there. There's a quest. Engineer Kim. Warehouse manager. Mailbox. Uh, okay, so, Engineer Kim. Where is she? Is she over there, maybe? She is. Now, this will probably be like the last quest line over in this area. At a moment, I need you to send this young Lima more to Yamari at the public stable. I'll do it myself, but I can't leave until I finish these calculations, and the poor thing's getting more frightened by the minutes. It's just a baby, after all. I'll try not to jostle it too much. So I need to head over here, I'm guessing. So I head over here, turn this in, and then I think I'll be done. And I made progress. I'm level 9. Um, definitely made some points. I'll have to see like what I can equip next time. Oh, probably better to head through the gates. That's... Okay, so they sell mounts here, I'm guessing. Why is everything named Lucius? That homeboy's level 50. Hey, you brought the cub. I was getting worried. This one has a sensitive personality. Thank you. Young Lima Ward cubs need to eat Vita root to develop. You can grow Vita root from seeds to feed them. Plant the Vita seed in this pasture and it will produce enough for the cub to feed on. Keep an eye on it so it doesn't wither and die. The plant I mean. Do I have to plant wither? Do I have to plant more seeds from the stable hand like myself? Do I have to get more? Okay, so... And then you wait for it to mature. So you can get your own garden along with your house too. Uh, and of course I'll use up a labor for this, but that's okay. That's fine, it's perfectly fine with me. That's the teleport book. Alright, 10, 9. But yeah, uh, if you guys are watching this on my YouTube channel, let me know how you're enjoying the series so far. I'll cut out the parts where I had to mute my mic. Uh, let me harder. 
There we go. That uh, stays active for an hour. There's probably a way to like automatically harvest it that we don't know about. Uh, turn this in real quick, and then I'll end it. That's a final convenient route. I'm sure the couple love it. Oh, select reward. We have to turn it to a dote symbol for a mount. Uh, it might die. Alright, let's give this one some room to grow. It'll be safe here in the field. Young ones are always hungry. You should make sure to feed it before it gets too weak. This is a trade secret, but a high quality Lima more that isn't raised on food alone. You have to socialize with them, play from time to time. Don't forget, come back when you're more if it's fully grown. Then you can truly be partners or companions for all your adventures, no matter how fearsome. Okay. Alright, so I don't know how I do this, but it will have to wait until I am back. Uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying you know, the game so far. I'm definitely going to be back with some more. Maybe tomorrow. I might be a little bit busy. It just depends. But until then, I'll see you guys. Peace.